Imagine a world where you have everything at home, but if you want to step out, you can't. You can never stand in an open area and breathe fresh air, for if you go out, your skin would burn. Will you like it? Well, this is the direction we are moving in. Technology is enhancing our lives, but at the same time, climate change has become a significant challenge for us. But what is climate change? Why is it a threat? And what can we do? Know it all in this video. Weather is the condition right now in a specific area. If it is rainy outside today or sunny tomorrow, that is a way to describe today's weather. But climate, on the other hand, is more than just one or two rainy days. Climate is a weather condition that is expected in a region at a particular time of the year. A region's climate is determined by observing its weather over a period of more than 30 years. And our climate is changing. What does it mean? To understand this, let us look at this image. Captured from the same location in the same month but after 63 years. Look at the difference. This is what climate change is all about. And you can clearly see that the Earth's temperature is rising. And because of the rise in temperature, sea levels are rising mountain glaciers are melting. Along with these effects, climate change also includes extreme weather conditions like drought, heavy rainfall, extreme colds, or extreme heat. Climate change refers to the average long-term changes over the entire Earth. To understand climate change, let us look at this graph. It shows the average temperature of Earth in the past 1500 years. It shows that the Earth's temperature has constantly been changing, but the change observed in the past 100 years is quite unusual. Now let's look at this graph. It shows the change in the temperature from the 1800s. The average global temperature of the Earth was minus 0.2 degree Fahrenheit in the 1800s, but it started to rise very fast in the 20th century. So why is this a problem? If this change continues, then by the year 2100, the glaciers will melt drastically, including two-thirds of the Himalayan glaciers, the sea level will rise by 1 to 8 feet, which means hundreds of coastal cities will vanish. But what is the cause of this sudden change? In the year 1824, Joseph Fourier discovered that the Earth would have been much colder without our atmosphere. Because when the sunlight falls on the Earth's surface, some of it gets absorbed and the rest radiates back into the atmosphere. In the atmosphere, molecules of gases like carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide trap some of this heat and the rest escapes into space. That's somewhat like you experience in your car when you sit in it after a sunny day. It will feel much hotter inside because the heat enters inside and gets trapped. This effect is known as the greenhouse effect. The name comes from greenhouses because they are also based on the same phenomena. The major contributor of greenhouse effect in all the gases is carbon dioxide. Almost 80% contribution. Rest 20% is by other gases combined. This greenhouse effect is what keeps the Earth's climate pleasant. But in 1895, Schwante Arrhenius discovered that humans could affect the greenhouse effect. How it can be done is not hidden from anyone. This is a graph which shows the emission of carbon dioxide in the last 2000 years. Level of carbon dioxide has gone up and down over the Earth's history. You can clearly see a spike after the late 1800s. This is due to excessive burning of fossil fuels, deforestation, etc. Along with this, the global population has tripled in the past 70 years and we are consuming more natural resources day by day which means more burning of fossil fuels, more deforestation, and hence more amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which leads to the trapping of heat and the temperatures change even more. What can we do about it? Our world has become one degree hotter than it was in the 1800s, and according to the United Nations, it is fine if it gets two degrees hotter up to 2100. But several predictions say that if we continue like this, then the Earth will get 5 degrees hotter, and this will lead to a catastrophe. We have already started to face the repercussion of this change by seeing floods, drought, melting glaciers, and rising sea levels. So we are left with only two solutions. Either we can stop the economic war and reduce the use of fossil fuels, or we can make any other planet habitable 
as if that is feasible so soon.